Good morning, welcome to science and I'm back in the kitchen because today I'm looking at the solar system using fruit. Yes, I'm looking at the solar system using fruit. I've come across this very interesting and exciting way to think about the solar system in scale. So, how big are the different planets compared with each other? You have begun your learning already, doing some background work about the solar system, about the planets, about what they look like, um, how far they are from each other, and the sun, um, how their environment is different to planet Earth. But today, I thought I would just show you super quick their different sizes compared with each other, and then offer a practical activity that you could do at home in one of two different ways um, to have fun learning about the solar system a bit more. Firstly, what if the solar system was made of fruits and vegetables? What if planet Earth was the size of a cherry tomato? How would all the other planets compare in terms of size? Let's work backwards and then forwards. So, after Earth, which planet is the next nearest to the Sun? Yep, planet Venus. Planet Venus would also be, it's a little bit smaller, but roughly the size of a cherry tomato. Now, I'm not spacing these out in, the, in proportion to each other, but just in terms of getting as many fruit and veg as possible onto the screen at the same time. So yeah, if Earth is the size of a cherry tomato, Venus would also be the size of a cherry tomato. What about Mercury then? Closest to the Sun, and it's a fairly small planet. So, if Earth is a cherry tomato, Mercury would be a peppercorn. Can you see the size of that? Imagine how small that planet is compared with Earth. So, Mercury would be a peppercorn. I'll leave it on the edge there for you to have a look at. Venus, cherry tomato. Earth, cherry tomato. Now, going out, which planet is the next one out? Do you remember that you made up a mnemonic, a way to remember these planets? Which one follows Earth? Yeah, it's Mars. Now, Mars is a bit smaller than Earth, so to keep the proportions right, with our peppercorn for Mercury, Mars would be a blueberry. Oh, it's rolled away. Mars would be a blueberry. How are you liking our solar system so far? I think this is quite fun. After Mars comes Jupiter. Now, in the grand scheme of the solar system, this is an enormous planet. You ready for this? Jupiter would be a watermelon because it's the biggest planet in the solar system. I'm going to hope that doesn't roll away. Is it staying? It's staying. So look at that. We've got Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. And then just here we've got our Jupiter. So um, that looks quite big. And by the way, the Sun is even bigger still. Right in the centre of the solar system. It's enormous. Following on from Jupiter, we've got, yes, Saturn. And Saturn in proportion would be about the size for grapefruit. So there, I'm just gonna move these around so I can hopefully squeeze them all in. So, Mercury, peppercorn, Venus, cherry tomato, Earth, cherry tomato, Mars, blueberry, Jupiter, wow, watermelon, Saturn, grapefruit. Next planet out is, yes, planet Uranus. Planet Uranus would be the size of an apple in proportion because it's getting a little bit smaller again, but not quite as small as these earlier planets though, is it? And finally, finally, the planet Neptune would be, to keep that same proportion, about the size of a lime. So again, see if that doesn't roll off. Now, if you happen not to have all of this fruit and veg at home lying around, um, if you do, why not make your own little um, solar system? That could be fun. But if you don't, I've got another way that you could make your own solar system by art and craft. So, I'm going to move these carefully out of the way. You could do two things. You could do paper mache, which is using strips of newspaper. All you need to do is cut up newspaper, 
into little strips fairly roughly and to make your own paste you don't need to use glue which can get stuck in things and hard to clean off you can make your own um, paste using by volume one part uh, flour any flour will do and one part water all you need to do is mix those together if you've got a whisk that's all the better if you have a wooden spoon that will do and you will find that it just comes together really quickly as it goes and you can also use this for any other craft activity as an easy glue paste so Look at that, nice and straightforward. There's our glue. But to make your planets, you can do two things. What I recommend, if you've got them to hand, is you can make planets to scale using balloons. And I've included for you a sheet about how big each planet would be in relation to each other if you were going to use balloons. So, for the sake of showing you one, Jupiter, which was the watermelon, but that would be quite hard to make in terms of a balloon. But if you made it 23 centimetres in circumference, then yeah, that's about the size of balloon that you need. Just to remind you, the circumference of a sphere is all the way around the outside. So all that I've done is I've got a piece of paper and I've measured it to 23 centimetres already. And I just check around the outside, and when it just fits around the outside, I know that this is the right circumference for, in this case, um, Jupiter. If you have the chance to, pop the balloon onto a glass, because that way, any drips, um, you can get all around the balloon, and pop that onto a plate so that any drips are quite easily just go onto the plate, and it's easy to clear up. And then, I don't know if you've done this before, but it's so straightforward. All you need to do is cover your bits of newspaper with this paste. It's all fairly gooey, so you'll need to wash your hands after. And then just be placing them all over the balloon. Now, unlike in some TV programs, I don't have one I made earlier. But I'm going to leave you with this here, just to see that... In no time at all, you can make planet after planet after planet. Now, with some of the planets, they're a bit too small. If you wanted, you could do balloons for all of them. But if you wanted something quicker and easier, especially for those smaller planets, just simply use a bit of scrunched up paper. So this is, um, this is eight centimetres circumference. So this would be either Venus or Earth. Again, I've measured my piece of paper to go around the outside, eight centimetres. And then I will have all of these planets in the end all lined up. And then all that you need to do next is let them dry. So the paper mache will um, form a layer over the balloon. You can pop the balloon once it's definitely, definitely set. And finally, Using the information sheets that you were working on previously, you can colour them in. You can make your own little model solar system, and space dependent of course, you could try and line them all up to scale. So remember, on your information card, you've, you've worked out a scale of how far they are from the sun from each other. Depending on what you're allowed to do at home, you could um, make space in home if you can, or go outside, take some friends, um, and doing so safely, make your own little model solar system outside, seeing how far the planets are from each other. So that's all from this lesson. I hope you have great time doing this and enjoying learning about our brilliant, brilliant solar system. Bye for now.